Hello everybody, it is I Real Play Zorja. I'm back at you today with a, another Balloons Tower Defense video. And today in this video, what we will be doing is we will be going and doing a fan suggested challenge. Now I did receive a couple of them, so we'll, we'll do them in the order that I got them. And this first one that we're going to be doing is we're going to see how long you can last with just the Spike Factory Towers. Now, just to give us a little boost, what we do have, we do have one cash drop here just to get us that extra money to get that first spike factory down. So, that's the only power up we're going to be using, except maybe some banana farms. So, let's get this video started. Before we do, though, I would like to ask you all, please hit that like button, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Please let your fr friends and family know about the channel and have them check it out. And, and if they like it, they can subscribe as well. All right, everybody and go drop that down get it get it and then we'll place the first spike factory right there get this going in double speed make sure we have auto start on good good and then we can go ahead and place our first farm down right in the corner there we'll get another spike factory back here is an insurance policy and then there we go and now you know what what we're gonna do actually is we're going to sell him as unfortunate as that is buy another one of them and we are going to put him more up there that way we can fit another guy right there, nice and close. Because the spike factories are very powerful, but they, they are rather quite expensive for the long run for, to get them to where they are so overpowered. So we're going, we're, we'll put, you can put another guy right here. We just want, we, what we really want to do is we want to line just this center part right here. Particularly this part right here because this is they have to cross this area three times before they can actually um, Get to the end back here. So the more we line this area with spikes the better off we will be in the long run And also I look at these maps. I like these maps with these they've got the little flowers and the sewer grates on this one It's really nice Alright, so back to the game. Let's see. Greater production. We want to get as much into our economy as we can. Unfortunately, that is going to have to come at a little bit later time, though. We, if we can just get a, a strong going on it and not get to where we're just making ridiculous amounts of money right, right away, then, I mean, that's a sacrifice we have to make. Is just we won't be able to make money as fast as soon, so... We'll just get two greater productions going, get a solid income base, and then, oh dear, yeah, we need to start getting more spike factories down. And also, guys, this is the reason why you should please leave down a comment below what you guys would like to see challenge rises for balloons. I do always appreciate, you know, as always, I appreciate the feedback that you guys give me on what's a good video, what content you guys would like to see. Uh... Yeah, so if you leave leave your suggestions down in the comments below, and you'll probably get end up getting your challenge put on the channel. And then we will grab another spike factory and grab another spike factory. Yeah, just line the these tracks of spike factories, and then we're gonna want to get a couple more back here just to get that extra defense boost and the really nice thing about spike factories as well is just they can hit every type of balloon so we don't need to get like um excuse me monkey villages and that so that is another very nice added bonus because like some of these towers like i'm trying to think uh, like alchemist the alchemist and druid are one they can't hit camos, so if we did one on them, we would have to get a monk. We'd have to get monkey villages as well, so we could hit the camos. 
but it is what it is and this is a really nice tower to do this with so let's see we'll put him there actually we'll sell him and we'll put him closer more like there there yeah I think we're doing pretty good right now everybody we got we got enough money coming in that we can buy about a new spike factory every round so so far I mean that is very good there we go see we got another one right there yeah so we just got a lot of spike factories going we want to keep that up and then eventually what what we really should do now is get one of them to white hot spikes so they can pop all the leads boom we, we should probably get a couple of them to white hot spikes I think that's what we'll do for now rather than getting more is we'll just focus on the white hot spikes on um because I mean honestly they're all gonna have white hot spikes because we're gonna go white hot spikes in middle route or white hot spikes in, in bottom route and the bottom route is only going to be uh these guys back here and as you can look at the I, oh dear okay 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 we're good we're good we're fine we are fine but that does show it tell us that it is time to get more white hot spikes down so yeah because now we got more leads coming in so we get more white hot spikes that way we, we want to be very well covered on leads because i'm hoping we can go past round 100 and with that comes ddt's and ddt's are not fun let me tell you they are not fun at all so we are going to get more white hot spikes yeah camo balloons don't mean anything to us for spikes all right so i think uh i think what we'll do is so these back guys right here are going to be our deadly this back guy this guy in the very back right here will be our permanent spike so get him up to white hot then long reach and smart spike yeah, the reason I'm doing this guy in the very back here is because we want him our very last defense. Because while the permanent spikes are very overpowered, they need time to accumulate and all that. So, and I was like, it's just, we don't really want to use them. We want to go as long as we can without needing them. So, yeah, as you can see, I think it's time we start getting faster production, even faster production on these guys. So, grab that. Grab him, and then boom, and wait, and save up for him, and then once we get faster production, or even faster production on a good amount of these guys, I mean, I honestly, I think we'll be good for a while. So the biggest thing is just getting the spikes down quickly, because as you can see, we've got, a, there's just a lot of fast moving balloons here, so... The other thing we want to do is we want to get to the, okay, so I just realized we are one wave away from Moab. Alright, so we want to get as many spikes on the ground before the Moab, or for the Moab as quickly as possible. Bigger stacks. Alright, let's see. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. See everybody, no need to panic. Did I say panic? I meant <laughs> no need to panic, right? Yeah. Right, no need to panic. White hot spikes, faster production, even faster production. Alright, wait, wait, wait up. Bam, boom. Alrighty, next up we have is the this guy to get faster production and even faster production. And I think what we'll do for these back guys is we'll start getting these back guys up to uh, long life spikes and boom there we go now we'll save up get them up to white hot and white hot and now i got two of them making white hot spikes and then we'll save up i think honestly i think for right now what we'll get these guys up to 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 top to middle and i think we will be fine for a little bit so let's see there we go 
and wait and save up and then i think once we get these guys up i think we're good for a while and we can start focusing on our economy so grab those and grab that and grab that there we go took a little longer than i expected <laughs> all right so now that we've got a solid oh dear god we may not have a solid base going okay Okay, we're, we are fine. All right, so let's see. Is that in range of him? Yes, it is. Very good. And I know I should probably be... Well, let's see. Let's wait and see. Is he in range? He's not quite in range. So we'll put him right there. I should um, probably just be getting... Let's see, is that in range? That is not in range. I should be getting these guys up before I put more down. I think that's in his range, right? Let's see. Yeah, that's in his range. Very good. Good, good, good. Okay. Those are a lot. That's a lot of regrow. That's a lot of regrow. All right. So we're going to try again because we could have done much smarter money placement on our part so we'll place him down one two one two and as you can see we have five thousand dollars so what we'll do is we will get let's see what do we we probably want to get um let's get this guy up to deadly spikes up to that that all right i think that might help us some more all righty so let's see let's see i think if we then we get moab shredder spikes that'll help pop more balloons and those i think those deadly spikes really get help out a lot more moab shredders save up save up come on come on nope 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 we're dead we are very dead well, everybody, as you can see, you know, we're running it back one more time and we're selling, we're selling off the farms, selling off the farms. We are selling off the farms. I think what we'll, I think that's really what we needed. And then we'll place this up there and then we can place another spike factory right there and get even more spikes down. All right, all right, all right, and use spike storm right away. Oh dear God, I don't know if the I don't spike storm. I think we need it for the regrow. We need it for the regrow. They're coming in. They're coming in. They're coming in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yes, that is what helped us. All right, so now that we've got that going, we have learned our lesson and time to up our defenses back here there we go and then white hot spikes back here so yeah that's the spike storm is gonna be our biggest asset um so all right so boom boom and then boom maybe yes there we go and those we also want to get the rest of these guys up to moab sure i think we'll make this guy our spike ball one so the one we're really going to focus on is going to be the moab shredders um because those are the spike storm route and those are what's really going to save us excuse me all right and oh no spike storm all right so let's see now oh dear oh no oh no 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 come on come on that was going on and there we go all right so as i was saying everybody we are going to be needing to get more moab shutters as well as just the problem with spike factories is they are very late game item uh, towers and it's just, it's 
where's the cursor? Where's the cursor? Spike factory. Or spike storm. Whatever it is. Just get it. Moab shredders. So this is the other thing we really need. We're really going to need Moab shredder for. Um, Alright. Do I don't think we'll need that. Alright, we're good. We're good. I think we're safe to get another farm for now. Spike storm. Oh no, we are not. We are very not safe. We are very not safe. We are dead. We are dead. Well, there's nothing we could have done for that one because we didn't have the money to upgrade anything. So, everybody, that'll be it for the video today. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I know it was a very short video, but as you can see, the maximum round you can get to a spike factories without the help of power ups and everything like that, besides one cash up and one monkey farm, is round 61. And the problem with that is it's just they're hard to use early game because they're a very late game item and they're a very hard to be a standalone tower simply because it's, they don't have a lot of popping power until you get to their tier fives. But anyways, that's the video. I'd like to thank you all for watching and have a great night, everybody.